This lesson deals with supplemental problem 4.5. You can find this problem in the ECE 201 ebook in the chapter 4 supplemental problems on page 5. Given this planar circuit with one independent voltage source, one dependent voltage source, and some resistors, can you solve for the current I? In our class notes we had an algorithm for this type of a circuit where we could solve for the mesh currents. So I've assigned mesh currents here as I1, I2, and I3. And if you know the mesh currents you can solve for any current. And so the current in this element would be equal to I2 minus I3. So let's use that algorithm. First step is to form a blank 3x3 three three matrix, and then multiply that by our three unknowns, I1, I2, and I3. Left-hand side of the equation is a vector with three rows and one column. We're going to put our sources in there. So go around mesh 1, add up all the resistors in mesh 1. That's going to go in row 1, column 1. What's common between meshes 1 and 2, we'll put in row 1, column 2, and we'll negate that sum, which is just a 4 ohm resistor. Nothing directly between meshes 1 and 3, so it'll be a 0 here. And then lastly, go around the mesh counterclockwise. The first sign you see is a minus, and then the value is 20i1. That's going to go in row 1 of our vector and column 1. Okay, go to mesh 2, and I add up all the resistors here. I get 4 ohms plus 10 ohms plus 8 ohms. That's going to go in row 2, column 2. What's between meshes 2 and 1 will go in row 2, column 1 negated, and so here's a minus 4. Between meshes 2 and 3, we'll go in row 2, column 3. And that's going to be, a, again, a minus 8. No sources in this mesh, so a 0 in row 2 of our vector. Go to mesh 3, add up all the resistors, I get 8 plus 4. What's between meshes 3 and 2 will be in row 3, column 2, negated, so minus 8. And nothing between meshes 3 and 1, so a 0. Go around the mesh counterclockwise, and you see a minus 36. Let's add up all our entries. So I have 8, minus 4, 0, minus 4, 22, minus 8, 0, minus 8, and 12. Again, notice that the matrix is symmetric. We have diagonals that are positive, off diagonals, same value, all negatives, or 0. Column 1 is associated with I1, and I have an I1 on the other side of the equation. So let's bring that over as a plus 20 I1, add it to the 8 I1, and get 28 I1. Sometimes when you do this, the matrix will no longer be symmetric. In this case, it's not going to change that. So I have three equations and three unknowns now. I can use my calculator to find the values of I1, I2, and I3, or you could do Kramer's rule. I have some zeros in our matrix, so it wouldn't be too hard. And I found that I1 was minus 213 milliamps, I2 was minus 1.49 amps, and I3 was 3.99 amps. Now the value of I above we showed was I2 minus I3, so a minus 1.49, minus a minus 3.99, I get a plus 2.5 amps. And this is supplemental problem 4.5.